Alright, I got you. I'm loud and clear. Alright, got you loud and clear. I'm actually going to use this iPad here so you can use this one fully. For everything you want. This thing is like, oh, Matt was in here. Oh, too high. And again, we're just going to focus on flying. Not even worry about the cameras, not make intros and outros. We can do that later. Still coming up. There's that for you. So I you got you all downloaded. I've okay. got you just to LVK. Um, if you want the approach plates and everything else, you can do your procedures there and all that. I've got the plates here. Wait. I'll start working on some frequencies for us here. 26.7. Our nav GPS, runway 2 at left approach in use, landing in the body runway 28. Use caution for increase for activity in the immediate vicinity of the airport. Notice the airmen, localizer DME, runway 2 at left approach. Yeah, 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 we'll get you there in a second. For more information. As is weather information for Northern California and coastal waters available on high water flight surface frequencies. For IFR clearances, contact ground on 121.4. Provides an initial contact with information. Bravo. Bravo. Hey, we're town formation. Bravo. 1354 Zulu. Wind 270 at 9. Visibility 10. Sky condition ceiling 1200 overcast. Temperature 14, 2.11. Altimeter 295. 295. Bravo. Tower 120. Point two. And again, just to clarify, I'll be the talking program pilot. You focus on the flying aspect, Wayne. Got it. I've got ground in there. I've got tower there. Everything is set there. I'm going to just put uh, direct to Livermore in there for you now, and we'll see how they uh, change that up from there. LVK. Direct. All right. Um, pilot is set. Okay, thank you. I got the Stratus on. That should be on the right Wi-Fi. I'm going to get a scratch pad out as well here. We know we're going to be clear to LVK, so thinking ahead. I hope my routes is filed. L2, we don't know. Frequency, we don't know. Transfer, we don't know. I'm going to give them a call. Yep. Warren Hayward Ground, Skyhawk 23 Mike Zulu. Skyhawk 23 Mike Zulu, Hayward Ground, go ahead. 23 Mike Zulu is at Meridian, information Bravo, IFR to Livermore, ready to copy. Listen, 23 Mike Zulu, you are cleared to the Livermore Airport via fly runway heading until reaching 400 feet, then turn left to a heading of 170. Radar vector is Oakland, Victor 244. Altam, direct. I'm going to maintain 2,000. Expect 5,000, five minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.35, squawk 4560. Okay, 2-3 Mike Zulu's clear to Livermore runway, heading 400, then a left turn 170 to Oakland, Victor 244 um, to Altan, then direct 2000, 5010, a 135, maybe 125.35, can't read my handwriting, and 4560. That's not three, Mike Zulu. I maintain 2000, expect 5000, five minutes after departure, and the departure frequency is 125.35, 2535. 2535, 2000, 5005. 23 Mike Zulu, Bravo, ready to taxi. So the three Mike Zulu read back is correct. Runway 28 left at Zulu, taxi via Zulu. 28 left at Zulu, uh, taxi via Zulu, two three Mike Zulu. So three Mike Zulu, thank you. And our last pie rep we got was at the top of the hour, based uh, by Bonanza 3 East, bases were 1,200, top 2,400. Thank you, two three Mike Zulu. Got your flaps coming up for you. All right, and then two eight left via Zulu. Got that? You want me to get that up there for you, too? Yeah. Here's. All right, airport diagram's coming up. 
I got gotcha. you. Two A to left. It's gonna be a right turn on Zulu. Right here. And then we need to <laughs> digest this novel of a clearance they gave us. Oh, really? That's the longest clearance I've ever gotten for a 14-mile uh, flight. Dual selector both. Rich. Car beats in. 1700. Seventeen hundred. First mag. Drop. Indication. Second mag. Drop. Indication. I repeat. Idle. Already got the code in. All right, and so you're working on. Instruments. Yep. So just confirming everything with you. If you want to put it in the iPad, so you have it on your iPad as well. Um, I got us direct Oakland. Okay. And then it has us going. <laughs> uh, so again, we're a left turn out of here to one seven zero, so we can bug one seven zero if we want. And that's at four hundred feet, right? At four hundred feet. To 170. Sorry to no, no. Go over there. So 400 feet left turn to 170 to Oakland. I got Oakland. Victor 244 to Altan. Uh, it has us going salad to Altam there. Okay. And then direct LVK. So on the iPad, I'd actually be put V244 to get that in there, right? Yep. You're going to have to get rid of LVK there, though. Or slide it over, right? Or you're going to slide it over, yeah. And then uh, just put Altam, and then in between that. Perfect. Yep. All right. And let's just look at that here together. Get a more picture view. So somehow out of here, we're going to make a 170 just to go back up towards, oh, they said radar vectors, technically up to Oakland. And across, there's that salad that they were talking about. There's Altam. And direct, okay. but they'll vector. So we're actually, we'll then. take off here, make a left turn, 170, then up to Victor. Yeah, that sounds like a big loop. Yeah, basically keep away from the airspace. Okay, let's um, let's bug our altitudes, um, 2,000, 5,005. I'm over on tower now. I'm going to get 12535 five, ready. 2,000 is in. All right. All looks fantastic here. Wigwags are on. Okay. I'm going to give him a call. Yep. Morning, Tower Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu, 28 left, Zulu, ready for departure. Cessna 23, Mike Zulu, here, Tower, hold for release. Hold short, 23, Mike Zulu. Caution, bud. Aaron, not an issue. And again, I'm the talking pilot, you're the flying pilot. <coughs> Testing 3, Mike Zulu, runway 28 left, clear for takeoff. 28 left, clear for takeoff, thank you. 23, Mike Zulu. That helps. Yeah. Final is clear. All right, got two eight in front of me, two eights on here. Here we go, feet down. Airspeed is alive. Confirmed. Everything's in the green. Confirmed. 55, 60. Good take off. Four hundred feet before a turn. Yep, that's a left turn at four hundred feet to one seven zero.
Cessna 3, Mike Zulu, contact NorCal departure. Over now, NorCal, have a great day to there, Mike Zulu. Start my left turn. Go for it. 375 yards, 35 five, Rebel. More NorCal, Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu, just off Hayward's 28 left. Here's your Mike Zulu, NorCal, approach open all two-liter, 297, we're ready to contact one mile west of Hayward Airport. 907, thank you, 23, Mike Zulu. All right, keep us over that 170 heading. Look good. Look good, 170, about to hit the clouds here in a second. Up to 2,000. They said expect 5,005. Level those wings just a bit. There you go. Good job. Leaning right. Part of the blue. Three, Mike Zulu, turn left, hitting 050, climb and maintain 4,000. 050 up to 4,000, 23 Mike Zulu. I'm going to wait for you for a little bit here. Yep, yeah, sorry. Let's make it easy, easier on you. You're good. Left turn, 050, please. Left, left, left. There you go. Approaching. Alpha. It's tough with the static vision showing blue water there, the blue sky. Doing great. I'll bug your altitude in a bit, but let's focus on this turn. Good, nice standard rate. Keep it coming around. There you go. You're barely turning. Take that yellow yeah. to that white triangle there. That's your standard rate turn. There you go. I won't get there, but... <laughs> <laughs> and you went for 4,000 now, so just keep it climbing past this 2,000. It's going to yell at you for going past your altitude, but I want to keep reaching over. Screwing you up. Coming around, you're doing fantastic. That helps a little bit. Oh, yeah. You guys had it on night mode. Measure zero, 050, zero, roll out. A little bit less way. There you go, that's level. I'm gonna bug you for four. Leaving altitude. I hear ya. There we go. You're banking right a little bit. Ooh, now I wish I brought my sunglasses. Picked up a little moisture, but it's still moving. Good, Wayne. Holy cow. It is bright. I, I was thinking, I don't need my sunglasses this morning. A little bit, there you go. Good. We're still basically radar vectors until he tells us otherwise. Cal Volunteer 3201, leveling 5000 on the winter 2. Volunteer 3201, North Carolina Project, expect vectors for the ILS, please don't. Altimeter 2, 9, 9, 7. 9, 7, vectors for 30, Volunteer 3201. Nice work, man. 3,000, climbing 4,000. Delta Bear 3, Mike Zulu, verify you're heading 050. 050, confirm for 2 3, Mike Zulu. Delta 
November 3, Mike Zulu, turn left heading 020. Left 020, we have like a 30 knot crosswind up here is pushing us. Yeah, it looks like you're about 30 knots, uh, right of course, or 30 degrees right of course right now. Yeah, it's blowing. Good. That is pretty. Can't yeah, forget to look out and enjoy it too, Wayne. Oh, wow. Approaching. 500 feet to go. Okay. Good. We'll see if he ever ends up actually taking us towards Oakland. I think he's just taking us. If you look now, he's kind of taking us direct that salad intersection, probably to Altam. That's the thing, you get this monster clearance on, on the ground and you get up with approach and they just do it, make it, make it easier, make it more difficult for you. It just depends, you got to be so flexible. Volunteer 3201, descend and maintain. 3,400. We got to remember how strong the winds are. I mean, they're showing 39 knots November up here. Three Mike Zulu, climb and maintain 5,000. Up to 5,000, 3 Mike Zulu. Caught you as soon as you leveled off. Send you back up. Volunteer 3201, five miles from my tail, turn right heading 270, maintain 3000 till established on the local the plate ILS, on three zero approach. 270, 3000, till established, we're cleared for the ILS 30, volunteer 3201. Number three, Mike Zulu, the new ATIS should be out okay, shortly for Livermore. Let the next controller know when you get it. You can expect the ILS 25, right? Appreciate that. Any chance of a GPS 25, right? Sure, you can expect that. Three, Mike Zulu. Appreciate it. Thank you, three, Mike Zulu. Never hurts to ask. Another GPS approach, like a little bit more of an ILS approach nowadays. Volunteer 3201, contact Oakland Tower, 127.2. 1272, volunteer 32, and have a good one. Deal, be 
AK out there. Let's see if I grab the ATIS yet. The more tire ATIS uniform, 1353 Zulu, wind 27010. Visibility 10, ceiling 1100 overcast. Temperature 13, 2.12, altimeter 2993. Landing and departing runways 25, ILS approach in use. Bird advisories are in effect. As is for the information for California and the coast available on high watch and flight service frequencies. Advised you have ATIS uniform. Uniform 1353 Zulu, wind. That's the old one. Look at that layer just kind of falls off yeah. right here. Number three, Mike Zulu, flighting zero four zero. Zero four zero through Mike Zulu. Approach Southwest 1968, 900,000, descending via MZO3, landing north. Southwest 1968, NorCal approach, cleared ILS, runway 30 approach. Cleared the ILS 30 approach, Southwest 1968. Look at the heat on? No, I don't have the heat on. <laughs> it's getting warm in here now. Get a little bit of air. That was real IFR. Yeah. IFR, you sweat. <laughs> okay. Right, LVK is right out there in the thick of it, so I imagine he's just kind of vectoring us out now. November 3, Mike Zulu, standard approach, 125.1. 125.1, we'll see you 3, Mike Zulu. Warrant approach, Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu, level 5000. Mike 23, Mike Zulu, our call approach, the stock altimeter 299 or 1, descend at pilot's discretion, maintain 4000. 901, pause discretion down to 4,000. 23, Mike Zulu. Go click. I need to start touching that screen. That's all I do, yeah. You can get tough in turbulence, though, so both are good habits to have. Talk about the approach on the ground. I'm going to brief it to you again here. We're going to grab the eight, try to grab the ATIS again in a second. 1572, Nortel approach. They show another frequency of 123.85. November, Box 1572, that was a 29. GPS, runway 25 right into Livermore, Livermore, California. Chart is current. All right, it'll be a 255 approach course. Airport elevation is 400 feet, so I'll let that throw you off. Any? 
no takeoff or alternate minimums that apply to our aircraft. Melsar lighting. Missed approach unless she gives us something else. Is it climbed to 4,000 direct to uh, Dearnay? The 317 kind of heading to YE. I'll get all that in there for you just so you need it. Livermore Towers 118.1. We'll get that in a second. I imagine they're bringing us in via U Hut, I think is the name, how you pronounce it. Looks good. That'll be a 3700. Down to gains at 32. We'll get glide slope intercept. A few intermediate fixes on our way down to 600 feet, which should be a problem given. Uniform 13. Still on uniform. Hasn't updated yet. All right, we're briefed again. Good morning, North Cal Approach, Dakota, 5 Niner. I'm ready to go. Kilo airborne out of Calaveras, uh, file IFR 2 Concord. We're 5 Niner, 4 5 Kilo, reset transponder, walk 4275. 4275, 5 Niner, 4 5 Kilo. And we're 3,000, climbing 4,000. Origin 63, cross off Jeff, at or above 3,000, cleared on F Street in 2 Niner, right approach. I got stuck stuff at about 3,000, cleared, RNAV, 29 Riley, Gen 63. Number 5945, kilo radar, contact 3 miles northwest of the Calaveras Air. Whatever your clearance expected, leaving 4,000 for uh, winter in a lower MBA. The uh, Stockton altimeter is 29901. 29901, number 45 kilo. Number 45 kilo, maintain a VFR 4,200, reaching 4,200, have your clearance. Green, up 200, 45 kilo. Kilo and uh, when able, fly heading of, uh, let's make it uh, 240, vectors for a lower MBA. Left turn, 240, four five kilo. Solar farm. Sure is. There's your 4,000. Uh, Christian, 5945 Kilo, I have your clearance at my shorty copy. Copy. Number 5945 Kilo, could you Concord Airport via direct, uh, let's make it direct Oki intersection, direct Concord VR, direct Concord. Oki, direct to Concord, to Concord, 45 Kilo. 45 Kilo, I see your request, you're looking for the RNAV approach. Sir. 45 Kilo, Roger, when I get you a little bit closer to Concord, I'll give you direct rejoy, but for now, direct Oki intersection. Oki intersection, 45 Kilo. Two, three, Mike Zulu, six, extended vector three, sequencing number two. Understand we're number two. Thank you. Two, three, Mike Zulu. Nine thousand eight hundred descending eight thousand with uniform at Livermore. Range two eight Tango Julie, North Carolina approach descend to maintain six thousand. Stockton altimeter is two nine or nine one. If you're not ready, clear direct U hut. Direct U hut nine or nine one down to six thousand eight two eight Tango Julie. Allegiance sixty three contact Stockton Tower. Tower Allegiance sixty three. Is bring us out here. This somebody out here must be sneaking into U Hut as well. So we're number two for the approach. So it'll be just a bit longer. And never retreat, Mike Zulu. Flighting zero five zero vector spacing. Zero five zero for spacing. Two three, Mike Zulu. Uh, uh, bottom left. There you go. Heavy already on it. Four zero Quebec, to maintain six thousand. Then to maintain six thousand. Four zero Quebec.
Okay, uh, 142 Delta Romeo, 6,400, climbing 7,000. Never 142 Delta Romeo, North Cal Approach, Don Cal Altimeter, 2 9 or 9 or 1. 9 or 9 or 1, 2 Delta Romeo. North Cal Approach, Skyhawk 456, Mike Bravo, 4,300, climbing 5,000. 456, Mike Bravo, North Cal Approach, Don Cal Altimeter, 2 9 or 9 or 1, clear direct Mayfair Airport. 2 9 or 9 or 1, clear direct Mayfair Airport, 6 Mike Bravo. Angel, you said this is the ILS approach?
three right Mike Zulu turn right heading of uh, one five zero. Right turn one five zero to your Mike Zulu. Never retreat, Mike Zulu, turn right heading 220. Right turn 220, 3 Mike Zulu. Never 511, pop is here for now. Fly heading of, uh, let's make it uh, 310 vector sequencing. 310 and. Uh, That's your direct to you, hot soul suit for the ILS. We have Victor now, one pop is here. One pop is here, Roger. There's two aircraft in front of you, both IFR also landing in Livermore. Okay, would it help if we slow down then? And one pop is here, Fernando, still going to have your vectors. You're following us, Skyhawk. Okay, thanks. I was saying, go slow, sir. And number six, my bro, which I have behind you is 6,000 and C-130. Got it. Look at the traffic, six, my bro. Contact Minnesota Tower. Minnesota Tower, Mike, 15, 17. Yeah. Get Tower next, because he sounds like. If not, I got the new NorCal approach ready as well. Less than the ace. Livermore Tower, this is Mike Zulu. Fighting 200. 200 for 3 Mike Zulu. 1,300 overcast. 2.14, altimeter 2994, landing in the parking runways 25, island approach Bird advisories are in effect. Advise over this, Victor. Livermore County, this is Victor, 1453, Zulu, 260812, visibility 10, ceiling 1300 overcast. Navimer 7A, Victor Hotel, North Carolina approach, talk to altimeter 2991, descend and maintain 4000. Down to 4,000. Hey, Victor Hotel. Victor Hotel, traffic 12 o'clock, less than a mile, altitude unknown, steer stationary. Okay, we'll keep our eye out. Hey, Victor Hotel. Have a range to 8 Tango Juliet, radar service chart, man, it is staying in squad code, contact Livermore Tower. Second car, 8 to 8 Tango Juliet. King, I want Papa just keep you in the picture, sir. I'm going to have you in for about another 10 more miles before I turn you back towards the final. All righty. We'll slow it up. Yeah. Well, I don't have much of a choice. Victor Hotel, say approach request at Modesto. Hey, Victor Hotel, uh, we'll take the visual. Number 7, 8, Victor Hotel, descend up high, uh, maintain 3,000. Down to 3,000, 8, Victor Hotel, and I've got the airport inside. Number 7 in Victor Hotel, clear visual approach, runway 28 right. Clear visual 28 right, 7 in Victor Hotel. That's beautiful out there. That's super cool, huh? Number 
Pilot number 23, Mike Zulu, and one uh, three miles from Little Airport, flight 220, maintain 4,000 until establish on the local collider. Christian, the Arn uh, final approach course cleared, RNAV 25, right approach. 220, 4,000 until established, cleared, the RNAV uh, 25, right approach, and Little Airport, 23, Mike Zulu. Here, 511, Papa Sierra, turn left, left turn, heading 170, vector 2, final. 170, heading right. 1, Papa Sierra. That's your four, five, six, five, localizer five, five, there. You got glide Close slope coming in. Three, uh, disregard remain in frequency for now. You gonna hold this till that localizer yeah, comes here. in. Four, six, one, that localizer comes in. It's a two, four, six, five, one, five, five, five two. course. Okay, guys, hold that. 255 will be the next one. Yep. And one pop is here. Maintain slowest practical speed. And then, yeah, um, it and then it'll be down to, uh, yeah, right. to 3,200 uh, once we're established. Thanks. So I say we kind of start slowing ourselves down now. Now, number 7, 8, Victor Hotel, contact with us. Tower, good day. Hey, Victor Hotel, good day. Let's get some carburetor heat even on. We'll add our next option of flaps here in just a second. All right. Yeah, we got those flaps set. Two, three, good. And let's turn to our two, five, five. Heading, please. Right on cue and start down, please, to 3,200. 3,200. Yeah, basically, you're just going to follow. You got the glide slope, basically, this far out. Just follow that glide slope down. You see it there? Yep. Make some power back. Push that nose forward, good. There's nothing but white clouds in front of us. Do we go down to 3,200? Yep. Yeah, number 456, Mar Bravo, contact approach 125.25. And honestly, too, again, you grab the glide slope this far out, and you're just going to keep following the glide slope all the way down. And number 3, Mike Zulu, remain this frequency. I'm still waiting on a downtime on an aircraft in front of you. No problem, we'll stay with you through Mike Zulu. Okay, down and a little bit to the right. Down. Air one pop here, flighting 220. Air a little bit to the right. Two five right track inbound. Got to get a little bit right of that HSI course. There you go. Track inbound on the local edge. One there pop you go. Like a two six five. There you go. Perfect. That's a good heading here. Good. Don't go any further than this. Don't go any faster down than this. Remember, so a glide slope is configured for 500 feet per minute. So at 300 feet per minute, you're never going to catch up. You're going to keep losing it. So you need to, if anything, go 550, 600, just a little, a little bit past that. Actually, and use power to do it. Don't push the nose forward. Just use power to do it. Down and to the right. Oh, you're, this heading's perfect. Down and to the right. Approaching. You see why though? Because the course yeah. is to the right. So when you bring that in, down and to the right. Get another heading, sit yeah, on yeah. it for a second. Yeah, and look what the wind's doing too. Oh, the okay. wind is not helping us. I got 17 knots from the right, so it's not helping you. This is a good heading here now. Good. Okay, that's a little extreme of a heading. Like a 275. And you got to keep coming down. You're, you're not losing any else too. We're just holding here. There you go. All right, we're gains inbound. Good job. A little high. Bring some power back. Good. Now that course is reeling back in. And I'll go back over the left. Just side. a little bit, like a like a 270, because the 255 was not working for us. You got to get down more. You're not losing enough altitude. Now we're teaching Mike Zulu, Raider, so the terminated scene of Squawco, contact Livermore Tower. Over Tower, thank you to the Mike Zulu. Warren Livermore Tower, Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu, just out, uh, just inside of Gaines, inbound. So it's a 2 3 Mike Zulu, Livermore Tower, runway 25 right, continue, wind 27012, altimeters 29 or 9 or 4. 25 right, continue, 2 3 Mike Zulu. Gotta get down, you gotta get more than 500 feet per minute to even have a shot of bringing that back up. Good. Good. Evolution 8 Tango Juliet, contact ground point 6. Have a good day. Keep on coming down. Ground point 6. 3,000 for 600. You're taking us all the way down. This heading's awesome for us right now. Front really great heading. Let's just work on the altitude. Five at Echo. Evolution 8 Tango Juliet. You've got to get more than 500 feet per minute. Parking. There you go. Good. Five river. Make some power back. Make it easier on yourself. Because now we're picking up a ton of airspeed. That's no fun. Taxi straight ahead. Especially if this was, this was a stable good. layer, but if it was bumpy. Yeah, 
right now, Mullen, so I should come left a little. Yeah, a little bit left. Keep it coming down. 2700 for 600. Good, now you're reeling that course back in nicely. Let's bring it back to a more reasonable 600 footprint descent, roughly. A little bit left, now you're losing the course to the left. Just let the wind push you back. There you go, good. It's getting touchier and touchier here. We only have five miles to go. It's gonna get more and more touchy. You got your course come back in. You can give it a little bit of power, reel in some of that descent now. All right, you can slow up that descent a little bit, pick that nose up, good. Okay, a little bit left. You're drifting right on me. Oddly enough, now we got a headwind. You get in the layer now. And this is a three Mike Zulu. If you can keep, pick your speed up traffic. Eight miles in trail, Kinger. We'll do our best. Do the Mike Zulu. A little bit left. And you're just a little fast on me. Okay. Now we're right on, right? Yeah, you're right on. But then you need to go a little bit left. Descent rate's perfect. Let's hold the speed of about 100, roughly. Good. Keep the nose coming down. A little bit left. Keep the nose coming down. Perfect. Right there. A little bit to the left. A little bit left. Just five degrees left. 1,900 for 600. You're picking up your descent. You can hear it. There you go. Good. Good. Hold that heading. 250 is a great heading. 1,800 for 600. Doing great. Awesome descent. Right on glide slope, right on localizer, fantastic. Hold it here. This is working. You're getting a little, yep, correct that descent, a little slower descent, a little slower descent, baby adjustments. Nothing outside to see, don't worry about it. 1700 for 600. Now we're on, there you go. You're, now we're kind of just riding yeah. some waves here, a few little bumps, it's nothing you did. A little bit to the right. Chance of seeing some ground here, 1600. Watch it. 1,500 for 600, nothing to see outside yet. Keep it coming down. A little bit of moisture, but it's moving. No ice issues, you're a little low. That nose up just a hair. I know it's, it's you see the ground and you want to just go, yeah. go for it, but you got to follow that glide slope all the way. Because there's no runway to see just yet. You could go for it, but there's a reason there's a glide slope to clear. There's an obstacle in front of us, whatever it is, so hold that glide slope all the way through. All right, I got the runway in sight. And to the Mike Zulu's runway in sight, 1380. That's a three Mike Zulu, Roger. All right. I got the runway, too. Good job. Lander visually, man. Good job. Really, really good work. Yep, and yeah, yeah, that's the nice thing about having everything already configured, that before landing checklist can already done. Just ending with us with seat belts and flaps. Fuel. All's good. Fuel with some speed. I want to put a 20 degrees flap. Yeah, it's fine. All right, a little left cross once. Feels like. Really nice approach. Notice we're still flying the glide slope in. That's always recommended. It's set up for that purpose. This airport's at 400 feet elevation, so don't let that throw you off or fool you any. Wind 28011. Thank you, and confirm uh, Mike Zulu is clear to land. Cessna 3 Mike Zulu, affirmative. Runway 25 right, clear to land, number one. 25 right, clear to land. Thank you, 2 Mike Zulu. All right, you're a little left to center. Bring up 
Power back to idle, floater on in, push that nose forward. Winds pushing to the left anyways. Touch this right. Five first. zero five one tango, a little more tarry on frequency. Good job. Let it roll. Let's go see where this flying is. Flying again is not just for rusty pilots, but pilots of all experience levels and even those non-pilots. It's the story of someone giving up something they love, aviation, for someone they love, maybe a child or a spouse. The funny thing about aviation is it always has a way of bringing us back. Join us as we watch these pilots flying again. You are 60 feet over the runway, girl. That is hot. Family is the reason why I got into flying. Family is the reason I stopped flying. And now family is a great reason to start flying again.